weeks ago, my husband David started using Calisum stem cell derived serum to treat his thinning hair. Regular viewers may remember I interviewed Oliver Tobin from Calisum on this channel to try to understand the science behind their products better, as well as how the stem cells are sourced and who their treatments are most appropriate for. So that might be worth watching after this if you haven't seen it and want to learn more. So today, having used the hair treatment twice weekly as directed, I'll be revealing my husband's results from using the hair serum along with his before and after pictures. This is an expensive product and relatively new to the cosmetic market, so I should say there's no real independent evidence around the effectiveness of stem cell treatments for hair loss, but they're beginning to feature more widely in clinics as an option, including injecting stem cells into the hair follicles as a kind of stem cell transplant. And we're seeing more stem cell derived treatments like the Calisum serum appearing on the market too. So let's find out what happened when my husband put it to the test on his hair. Now, Callison's advanced hair system is currently sold at £315 in the UK, so I believe it's come down a little in price here, and it's $360 for the six-week treatment in the US. So far, my husband's been using it for eight weeks, and we intend to keep going with it to look at the long-term effect. That means we're on to our second box now, and the treatment is being provided by Callison for the purposes of independent review. Now, a quick reminder of how the products are supposed to work and how they're made. So Callisum sources the stem cells from the umbilical cord of red deer. So it's ethically sourced and not human derived. And they use red deer because there's no known transfer of disease between red deer and humans. And with the advanced hair system that my husband's trying, you get six five milliliter bottles of pink serum or conditioned media as Callisum call it and you're directed to use it twice weekly over an initial six week period. You also get a little dermal stamp which has tiny prongs that you use to stamp your scalp in advance to open up the hair follicles and then you apply half of a five milliliter bottle with each treatment. We were advised to do that after washing and drying David's hair because obviously you don't want to wash the serum off and you want to give it plenty of time to work and hopefully be absorbed into the hair follicles. What Callisum say is that the treatment reinvigorates a hair follicle, stimulating growth and also reduces inflammation, which they say is one of the major causes of hair loss. Oliver told us that inflammation causes the hair follicle to go into a dormant stage where it doesn't produce hair anymore and loses its pigmentation as well. And he said the conditioned media is an 80% concentration of stem cell derived proteins, otherwise known as growth factors. So the stem cells taken from the from the deer umbilical cord are put into a solution and they release the growth factors and that's what the conditioned media is. The stem cells themselves are removed so there are no actual stem cell components in the Callisum products, which is why they can be sold on the open market. Now, some might say that the fact that there are no actual stem cells in it might limit its effect, but just not enough is known about that at this stage. I'm gonna link as I did with the last video to a Huffington Post article on stem cell use in cosmetic products that's pretty balanced and which I found very helpful. Now, the first thing to flag is that you can smell that the serum is biologically sourced. So David and I have been laughing about the fact there's been more deer seen in the woods behind our house recently. And we've been joking that maybe it's the smell that's attracting them. To be fair, it's not a strong smell, it's just there. And it may put some people off. So I just thought it was important to mention it. You know, if I put the serum on the back of my hand, it would kind of smell like a deer had licked it or something like that. Not that I've a deer has ever licked my hand. But anyway, it's that kind of a smell and it then disappears after a couple of minutes and you don't notice it anymore. Other than that, it's pretty easy to use. The stamp itself is not painful or certainly David didn't think it was. And so every Sunday and every Thursday, he stamps his head and applies the hair serum. And to explain, David is just about to turn 58 and for most of his life, he's had very thick hair. Here's what it looked like several years ago when we filmed a review of Just For Men shampoo and it was really thick and healthy. And then about a year ago, he noticed his hair was thinning on top and his hairstylist actually mentioned this to him as well because he noticed it too. Now to most people looking at him today, he's still got a good head of hair for a man of his age. But for David, it's noticeably thinner. 
and especially at the back on top. He has a triple crown at the back and I'm going to show you what that looked like eight weeks ago when we started the treatment. And basically there was a clear parting at the back of his scalp around that triple crown area. We've not manufactured that gap for the photo. That parting was just permanently exposed and that was a new thing for him and that whole area around there was considerably thinner than before. So whether the hair loss is age related COVID related, which is a big thing, or something else we just don't know. It could be a mix of these things. His alternative was to use minoxidil, which he dabbled with a bit. It's a cheaper solution. It has way more evidence behind it when it comes to hereditary hair loss. But in the US, it's only FDA approved up to the age of 65. And in the UK, the biggest selling brand Regains Foam is only suitable for men aged up to 49 because of a lack of information about safety in the older age ranges. So that was also a consideration. So let's take a look at David's hair six weeks on from starting the treatment, which took us to the end of that first box of hair serum. This was his hair two weeks ago at that six week treatment point. Now, although it doesn't feel a whole lot thicker on top, if we compare the images with where he was at the start, we think the triple crown has filled in a bit because it's no longer exposed at the back. In a third picture here, also at the six week point, I have manufactured that opening by brushing his hair to either side. And you can see that it's still less exposed than in that first image where the crown was just permanently open because of the extent of the hair loss. So this is his hair today at the eight week mark and it just seems to be that little bit fuller again. So let's see his hair at the start, at the six week point and today in side by side photos just so you can take a moment to scrutinize them for yourselves. Maybe even pause the screen to have a good old look and see what you think. The only sense of gain we have is through the pictures and that's why it's so important to take before and after pictures because as far as how it feels to David, he feels just today when we were talking about it that it's starting to feel a little bit thicker but his hair is still finer than it was before and maybe that's to be expected after just eight weeks but we don't want to over egg the results. They are not massively dramatic but we feel there's been a visible improvement. David will keep going with what we've now come to call the deer stamping and will report back on what the longer term results are for this treatment. After the initial six week, twice weekly treatment, the idea is that you would have to keep buying what is an expensive serum to maintain the results, but you would cut it back to do the treatment once a week instead of twice. So each box should theoretically last you 12 weeks instead of six, but you're still looking at around a hundred pounds or dollars a month. Now what we'll look at is both the longer term effects and whether you can reduce the amount used and still maintain the results by using the serum even more sparingly than suggested to ideally get longer than 12 weeks out of each box, which makes it more financially viable. As a stopgap, I'll do another video in January with an update on how David's doing, whether we've seen more volume by that point, but that will be part of a review of the face cream, which promises to smooth even deep wrinkles and improve skin health and volume. And I've given that cream to my 41 year old hairstylist Charmaine to try out. She started it eight weeks ago at the same time that David started the hair treatment. So I'll share her results when she reaches the 12 week point as well as my own thoughts after using the anti-aging serum on the back of my hand and also on one side of my chest. So that's it for me today. I hope you found this video helpful. I always love to hear your thoughts. If you've tried Calisum hair serum, please do let us know if you felt it benefited you or not. It's always great to have a range of views and experiences. Or have you tried another stem cell derived treatment? How has that worked out? For now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel to watch more reviews and interviews from me. See you next time.